Welcome, welcome one more time to Unstop Faith Channel. Yay! Where we walk by faith and not by sight. The just, you and I, shall live by faith. Without faith, brothers and sisters, it's impossible to please God because he that cometh unto him must believe and that we must seek after him diligently. And in return, God will reward us amen so let's go into the word all right my brothers and sisters just want to encourage you what can hinder my prior what can hinder my prior let's see what the word says in psalm 66 and the 18th verse says if i Regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. But verily, God hath heard me. He hath attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, which hath not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Hallelujah. What a word. What a sure word. What can hinder my prior? Brothers and sisters, as we read the scriptures, I'm telling you, once we align ourselves, because we don't want anything to cause a prior traffic jam. Woo, let me say that again. We don't want anything to cause a prior traffic jam. What do I mean by that? I don't want anything to block your communication when you're trying to communicate with the Lord. Hallelujah. I want your prayers to be answered prayers. Glory be to God. So that means when you come before God, you come before Him in thanksgiving. You come before Him lifting up holy hands. You come before Him and say, Lord, I thank you for your grace and your mercy. And I want God to pay attention to you, my brother and sisters. So what am I saying? If you had regard iniquity in your heart, you hold grudges against any individual, whatever it may be, and you do it out of lack of knowledge, just ignorance, Glory be to God. Let's this, this be transparent right here, right? And you did it because, I mean, whatever they've done, you think that's the best way to hold him in your heart and you're mad and you scream and you shout and whatever you want to do, right? But now knowledge is coming and you have to receive this knowledge because I, I even heard uh, a testimony uh, from Tyler Perry that, you know, when he was doing his movies, he, he didn't get the breakthrough until he forgave his dad. Think about that for a moment. Until he could forgive his father, his earthly father, then his heavenly father wouldn't open the floodgates of heaven to pour the blessing. Hallelujah. So what blessing are you stopping God from pouring out upon your life right now? What is hindering you right now? Go back. It could be when you're in your childhood days. Whatever you've been through, whatever curse word has been spoken against you and you hold that in your heart and you think that that person was speaking from the realm of God or because of their authority, you kept that word and you think that word is, is true. It is a lie if it's not from the Bible. It is a lie. I want to say it again. It is a lie. It's, if it's not coming from the word of God, it is a lie. So you can get rid of those thoughts. It could be a mom, it could be a dad, it could be a brother, it could be a sister, aunt, whatever it may be, whatever family member it may be. If it's not from the word of God, reject that word right now in the name of Jesus. And how are you going to reject that word is receive the word of, of God. Whatever God has been saying, whatever the situation may be, go to the word of God and hear what God says. Because it's not what people say about you matters, it's what God say about you. And, if, and when you understand what I just said, then you're going to start say what God say about you. Because your word carry life or it can carry death. Death and life is in the power of our tongue. So, brothers and sisters, I don't want a prior traffic jam going on in your life. 
I want when you pray, you can feel God. Hallelujah. And it's going to start with by you examine yourself and, and whatever issues, whatever ism and schism is going on in your heart. Because we can pretend and we can look good on the outside and everybody think that we're doing 100% okay. But deep down on the inside, there is a jam. And the only way the breakthrough going to come, my brothers and sisters, is when you let it go. It sounds easy. It sounds simple. But everything is a process. Hallelujah. Because nobody know your pain. Well, like Jesus know your pain. Glory be to God. But no one else, unless God share that burden with us. Hallelujah. Someone else to really intercede for you and to pray and that you will get knowledge during the process of your hurt, get some knowledge, get some understanding. Forget about yourself for a moment and let the Holy Spirit help to diagnose the problem. So when you pray to God, just as a God will forgive you as a sinner, forgive myself, you and I forgive us. Then we must take that same grace and that mercy and extend it to others. So you don't have a prior traffic jam hallelujah i pray that you've been blessed i pray that uh, there will be some light some enlightenment in your situation so you won't pray and miss god hallelujah god bless you cause his face to shine upon you until we meet again we're going to continue to walk by faith and not by sight let's do it together thumbs up hit the subscribe hit the notification bell until i see you next time. God bless you. Thanks for watching.